Belgium is famous for its chocolate, waffles and beer. But for dealers in the know like Drew, it has a growing antique scene too. With more castles per capita than its neighbour in France, the country is full of historic and interesting artefacts that spill out onto the frequent flea markets. Hoping to find some quality items, Drew is up early, visiting a weekly intimate antiques market just north of Liège. In the midst of this, there's going to be a couple of things. 100 exhibitors come together to sell house clearance items, which include a variety of fixtures, fittings and furniture at rock-bottom prices. Oh, look there. It's a typically Belgian. It's a tin tin tin, isn't it? Tin tin tin. 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 What's in tin tin tin? <laughs> it's a biscuit tin tin. Tin tin. It's a tin tin tin. I've never been into tin tin. You've just been in tin tin. Should we put this down now before yeah, it gets, before really it gets ridiculous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's carry on. I absolutely love coming to these markets. Wherever they are on the planet, they're just great. You never know what you're going to get. They're exciting, they're interesting. That one there's a little deer. <laughs> there's just a buzz to them all. I love them. And, I, I, you know, the adrenaline kicks in, I'm off. Oh, hello, what's that? I can't get in. I don't want to break anything. This one. That one. This no, one. behind. Yeah. Just want to look. There's a brass square table lamp there. I thought, yeah, that's all right. That's quite stylish, actually. It's got a little bit of the sort of Hollywood Regency about it. This brass table lamp was made in the style of renowned Spanish designer Rodolfo Dubarry and dates back to the 1970s. With intricate engravings of palm trees on all four sides, once rewired, it could be worth around 350 pounds. How much? The pre? 25, 20 for you. Yeah, OK. 20 euro. Happy days. All right, I like this tea. Does it work? This is cool. Down at the far end of the market, we've spotted these marble scales. Not a really uncommon item, to be honest with you. I've seen them before, but this one's a great colour. And I particularly like the, the, the marble discs on the top where you put the food or whatever. What, what's it say on the wall? Don't buy scales. Yeah. We have a list on the wall in the, in the, in, in the warehouse, and when i am sort of got new people in working for me, I say, right, see that list there? If anybody rings up and offers us anything on that list, say no. Number one <laughs> is scales. That's great. All your marble weighing needs. <laughs> Age-wise, it's early 20th century, I should think, somewhere between 1900 and 1930. It's in that, in that area somewhere. Who knows, to be honest with you. Stylistically, it could, it's all over the place, so we don't know. But what I do know, weighs a ton. The mechanism, it works, it goes up and down, it does all that, but it's, decor it's just a decorative thing. Made from solid marble and wrought iron, these oversized scales are in full working order, although their real value is as a decorative piece for a large kitchen. With no restoration required, they could be worth around £350. Where's the chap? Where's the dude? Oh, sorry. The pre, monsieur? Uh, good price, 150. 150 euros. Okay. It's too much. 100? Yeah? 120. It's good. It's good. Salvage Supremo Drew Pritchard is at an antiques market in Belgium. In the midst of this, there's going to be a couple of things. Where he's weighing up the profit margins on this pair of scales. 100? Yeah? 120. It's good, yes. I'm going to have to have it. I know I'm going against everything I say. <laughs> I know I'm going against everything I say. Go on, you buy scales. In the end, paid 120 for it. I'd really like to have paid 80, but we'll take what we can. Look really nice on, you know, great big dresser in your kitchen. That slap bang central. Yeah, fab. Ah. No. Too basic. Ah, tea. Blimey. Belgian in origin. 
This glass-blown lamp was made in a factory named Val Saint Lambert, just over 10 kilometers southwest of Liège. Known as Belgium's most famous glass factory, it's based in a stunning old Cistercian Abbey, which was converted for crystal production in 1826 by chemist Francois Kemlin. Art Deco in style, this lamp was made in the 1950s. Complete with its original factory label, it could be worth around 150 pounds. Bonjour, je prie. Vat. Two. Twenty-seven. Okay. I think that was right. I think I might have just bought something for twenty-seven euros, so but I'm not entirely sure. Twenty-five. Ah, oh, it's got a chip. Damn. Look. Damn it, Janet. Twenty-five euro. I'll have it. Madam. Merci. Another one. It's the same again, looks like crystal stuff. How much? Two? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, we'll take it. The little um glass lamps that bought little crystal ones. They're, they're, they're Belgian in origin, these ones actually. Um I just like them. Okay, there you go. Merci. Merci. Managed to buy two of the little glass lamps. Um fifty quid, fifty euro. For two, fine. You know, we'll rewire them, polish them, make sure they're absolutely beautiful, market them correctly, and they should see us a nice profit. I think we have to go into that shop. It looks open oh, as well. That looks nuts, doesn't it? We're going up and down the market, and I spotted this place. And let's be honest, you can't miss it, can you, really? Look at it. This has to rank in the sort of top ten of... Weird, no, top three weirdest shop windows I've ever seen. And for that reason alone, I love it. They're good. See those stacking tables in there? Those We're white, those white ones. We're going in that shop. Is it open? It is open, yes. isn't it? It's brilliant. Bonjour. Bonjour. Wow. This is great. We just start. Brilliant. Well, if I thought the shop was mad from the outside, it's even better inside. I love this shop for just that reason that it exists. That's what I love about the antique trade. That thing that you can do whatever you like. There are no rules. Just start with tables. Wow. Do you want one out? Yeah. Monsieur? Oui. Um, the table? The table. Table. Oh, really? It's done. Yeah. He says, uh, yeah. one, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. Can we get these out and have a look? Because they're beaten up to hell, but they're pretty damn cool anyway. There's these sort of modular tables that would sort of fit into each other, you know, like a sort of Russian doll type of thing. I've had lots of this sort of stuff before, and it sells very well. Constructed using white laminates over a timber frame, these unique side tables are American and were made in the 1970s. Their sleek, modernist design makes them as desirable today as when they were first made about 50 years ago. With just a clean and polish, they could be worth around 350 pounds. 120 euro. One, two, three, four, 120. five. 120. 150. One. So say, what? Song, song, song. One fifty. Thirty. More do. Okay. Yeah. One thirty. I think, I think you just give an extra tenner, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. One. One. one forty. Four. Deal. Okay. Merci. Merci, mate. Merci. All right, we'll have those two. Lovely. They should fit inside each other, and they do. Bonjour. <laughs> cool, funky little things. Very saleable. What I'll probably do is just clean them all up. 
and we'll just sell them as a job lot, just as a job lot, 300 quid, 350 quid for the lot, job done. Ah, there's another table. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. 10 euro. Eh? 10 euro. Yeah, OK. Fine. And then we found another one, which clearly part of it, gave them another tenner. Uh, happy days, 150. We've got six of them. Great shop. I like your shop. Well, it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun. We bought a few things today. I think the marble scales are one of the better things. You know, great colour, great scale. The discs on the top where you put the things on, they make it. For me, actually, buy of the day wasn't from the market. It was from the shop next door to the market, and it was that, that little nest of odd-shaped side tables. I think they're great. I think they're super stylish little things. We'll use some nice coloured white polish on those, like a, a white car tea cut type of thing. Um, give them a really good clean. Double our money easily enough. Very happy I've turned up here today. Going to markets, it's just the most fun. It's a lot more fun when it's sunny, though. Buying done for the day, it's time to warm up the cockles with a local sweet treat. Cool. Are these yeah. the cinnamon ones? That's the cinnamon one, and that's the... Uh, we've got one of each, so Ooh, we can try Lovely, them. lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, I, I presume they're lovely. I've never tried one. OK, here we go. Wow, very good. <laughs> Besides, well, I'd be fatter than I already am. That's probably a week's worth of calories. Oi! Get out of it. We enjoyed it then, today? Really good. We bought enough to make it, and really that shop at the end made it. I think if, if we spoke French, that could have been quite funny in that shop. Yeah. You seem like a top fella. I know. I know. Yeah. I'll give that pigeon some. He's starving. Yeah, mate. Well, they'll all be around now. Yeah. Mm. I like Belgium. It's nice. Beer. Beer and sugar, basically. Beer and sugar. If they could just turn the temperature up a bit, I'd be having a really nice time.
Salva Supremo Drew Pritchard is at an antiques market in Belgium. In the midst of this, there's going to be a couple of things. Where he's weighing up the profit margins on this pair of scales. 100. Yeah. 120 is good, yes. I'm going to have to have it. I know I'm going against everything I say. <laughs> I know I'm going against everything I say. Go on, you buy scales. In the end, paid 120 for it. I'd really like to have paid 80. But we'll take what we can. Look really nice on, you know, great big dresser in your kitchen. That slap bang central. Yeah, fab. Ah. No. Too basic. Ah, tea. Blimey. Belgian in origin, this glass-blown lamp was made in a factory named Val Saint Lambert, just over 10 kilometers southwest of Liège. Known as Belgium's most famous glass factory, it's based in a stunning old Cistercian Abbey, which was converted for crystal production in 1826 by chemist Francois Kemlin. Art Deco in style, this lamp was made in the 1950s. Complete with its original factory label, it could be worth around 150 pounds. Bonjour, je prie. Vat. Two. Twenty-seven. Okay. I think that was right. <laughs>